This is the interaction of acetaminophen, also called paracetamol or Tylenol in the United States, and warfarin, also called Coumadin. Acetaminophen can increase the INR in patients taking warfarin through a few mechanisms. Acetaminophen can directly inhibit warfarin metabolism. Because acetaminophen is metabolized in the liver, it can compete with warfarin for cytochrome P450 enzymes, particularly CYP2E1. This can potentially reduce warfarin's clearance and enhance its anticoagulant effect, therefore increasing INR. Acetaminophen can also inhibit vitamin K-dependent clotting factors. There's a metabolite of acetaminophen that may inhibit the activity of vitamin K epoxide reductase, the same enzyme that's targeted by warfarin. This leads to reduced recycling of vitamin K, further decreasing the synthesis of clotting factors 2, 7, 9, and 10, which is the target of warfarin, and this thereby increases INR even more than you would have otherwise. Finally, acetaminophen can also increase bleeding risk independent of INR. Acetaminophen may affect platelet function or vascular integrity, increasing bleeding risk even in the absence of a significantly elevated INR, and this is completely independent of warfarin's mechanism. So with these in mind, there are a few clinical considerations. The effect of acetaminophen on INR is dose dependent, and there are increased risks of this dose change when you're giving higher amounts of acetaminophen, totaling at least two grams a day for multiple consecutive days. So if you're only giving a one-time 600 milligram dose of acetaminophen, you're unlikely to have any issues. It's when you're giving at least two grams a day for multiple consecutive days. And the INR elevation usually becomes apparent after three to five days of consistent Tylenol use. Patients on warfarin who require frequent Tylenol should have closer INR monitoring to avoid over-anticoagulating and bleeding risk.